What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well tonight. It's Intense Investor coming at you with another wonderful video on my YouTube channel. Tonight, I want to talk about some of the results that I got with that Crypto Hopper buy I set up back in December. Remember, I called it the Intense Scalper Bot was the name I gave it. The results have actually been pretty good considering the bear market we've been experiencing. We had Silicon Valley Bank go under just the other day. That affected USDC, which had a part of their holdings with that bank. There's been a lot of regulation talk. It seems like Gary Gensler is trying to get rid of crypto. So a lot of people have fear there's a lot of fear in the market a lot of people exiting positions selling off their crypto it's tough times right now but there does seem to be some bright spots with just some of the technology that we're seeing come out of crypto some of the ai technology artificial intelligence singularity ai chat gpt those kind of things are having an effect on crypto as well it hasn't been pretty so hopefully going into next year things are going to look a little better but uh, let's go ahead and look at my results i got with the scalper bot guys here we are on the crypto hopper home page as you can see this is where you log in sign up if you don't got an account already they do got a free trial if you want to try the bot out you can it'll let you do some paper trading with some monopoly money that's just another term for fake money but i'm sure you got the gist of that but crypto hopper i've been using it since the end of 2020 gotten some pretty good results with it actually i usually like to run a paper trading bot to kind of test results out with different strategies before i put real money in it because that's a good way to get burned so i set this bot up for just scalping it had a trailing stop loss that would arm at about 1.25 percent and then when the market dropped it would sell on the with the trailing stop loss 0.25 percent so I was trying to get 1% profits, right? It goes up 1.25% in arms. That's trailing stop loss. When it falls 0.25%, it would sell. So I was trying to get that 1% profit. I did end up with some bags that I was holding, but not too many. It actually did pretty good. I think I might lower it down even more just to try to get that small scalping percent. So I'm gonna do some tweaking with this bot tonight. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so let's go ahead and get into that right, guys here we are on the main dashboard for crypto hopper one thing i love about crypto hopper is all the stats statistics that it gives you for instance it'll show you for instance i got 10,000 usdt on the exchange the current profit which is 0.04 percent and that's a little misleading i'll show you why in a little bit in positions i'm actually negative $408 but I'm still in the positive due to how the bot has traded the past two months or three months yeah it's about three months now actually it's did actually very well during the market conditions I, I am trading top 50 coins top 50 market cap coins if you went on coinmarketcap.com Bitcoin Ethereum Cardano Matic B XRP KCS, that's a KuCoin, it's coin, SHIB, Luna, those type of coins, dot, link. I think you get the picture, but try to stick top of the market cap coins. Don't trade shit coins on here. You'll get wrecked. They'll have pumps, won't never come back up. You want volatility because the scalper bot is a little bit of a swing trading bot. So when the market goes up, it's going to buy when what's well, going to buy when it's low the market's going to go up it's going to try to sell at a very small profit margin like i said 1.25 percent is the arm of the trailing stop loss and then it's going to sell if that amount once it gets to 1.25 percent profit once it falls 0.25 percent it's going to try to make a one percent profit i'm going to show you how i got that set up as you can see, these are like the last five cells here. I had one today for Kava. The ninth had Kava. So Kava must have been doing pretty well. XRP had two trades on the eighth. So you can go to your trade history. Like I said, I love the stats. It gives you a lot of stats in Crypto Hopper, which is so you can search just by buys or sells. 
as you can see here there hasn't really been a lot of sales since the first on the first of march there was quite a few the graph ethereum ltc near coin theta luna and you can see i am raining in those smaller profits right by scalping 0 0.77%, 1%, 1.09%, 1.19, 1.42. So you get the picture there. Sometimes it does pump up a little quicker, a little more, and you make a little bit more profit, like 1.5%. But you can see it's pretty consistent. Here was one for A0, 2.48%. Actually, that coins did really well, A0. So let's go back to statistics. So here's my actual profit stats. So out of the 10,000 that I got in this bot, $1,999 has actually been invested. And I've had $412 in returns from the scalping, but I currently have 60 positions open that the bot was unable to sell that it bought, right? So it bought something, it never got up to my arm of the trailing stop loss at 1.25%. So it's holding a bag pretty much. Like I was saying earlier, you don't want to be holding bags. So that's why I'm going to try to lower that a little bit. So we're going to tweak it tonight and I'm going to show you how to do that and just run through the settings again that I set up in the last video. So I'm still in positive 412 USDT in returns, $407 usdt in positions open positions so let's do let's see we can put this back let's just do january 1st and then we're gonna go till today's date and we're gonna hit apply so then you can see i had this gap early february the bot was actually disabled and i didn't realize it but nothing really happened because the market was trading sideways so any positions i was holding the bot just held on to it here it gives you a, like allocation of funds usdt and open positions only 16 percent so that's the 1999 dollars out of the 10,000 that i actually have to play with so that's really low risk that's 20 percent of my total capital that the buy is playing with and that's just because it's been buying and selling the position so quickly it, it doesn't need the extra capital that i got available it's only got about two thousand that it's playing with now some of that has to do with the amount that you put in each position like right now i think i got a hundred dollars per position and you can only have so many positions open. I think I got it set to one position per coin. I don't want to open in too many positions in one single coin at the same time. So I just got it one position at a time per coin until that position set. As you can see here, uh, A0's had 75 trades, VRA 72. So VRA is really volatile. I've noticed that about that coin. A Phantom, Kava, T Fuel, Mover. Adam, these are the top trades. It actually shows you how many trades right here. Graph, Telcoin, tel Dot, Near, ADA, Quaint, Theta, Flux, Luna Classic. Total average profit per coin. ERG, the total average profit is 1.62. So that one's did good. Clay, ADA, AVAX, BitTorrent, Flux, Zilliqua, Telcoin. Now here you can see total USDT and assets started out around 9,700 at first. This was back in January 1st. Got all the way up to 10,300 USDT. So this is a graph. It'll, gra it'll track your assets as it grows, right? As the bot makes money. So now, you know, I'm down to 10,000 USDT and assets. So I'm still up. $300 even with the down market. So the bots actually did pretty good. Average holding time three days per trade. And you can see the sales on this graph here, the red and the green bars. The sales and the buys are actually pretty consistent because you'll see you'll have a lot of sales here. So usually you'll have a lot of sales and then you'll get these big green or sorry you'll have a lot of buys and then you'll get all sales and it'll staircase up like this after you've had a, like a big buy day so when the green candle is really high here on the graph it's not really a green candle but you know what i'm talking about here so this green chart 
when it's high, you're going to see selling in the coming days, right? Because it's going to sell out of those positions and make money. So you can kind of look at this like down here, January, things were slow. Then the buyers started buying more and more. The market was getting hotter there in January, mid-January. And it picked up to a point there, January 23rd. That was a big day. Lots of buys, lots of sells the next day when the market probably started to dip. There's a way to interpret this data, but it's really interesting. There's a lot of good things you can look at there to figure out how the bots are actually trading. So let's go to the configuration. I'm going to tweak this. So I got 60 coins in here. Like I said, try to trade top of the market coins. This will definitely help you out. There's a lot more liquidity in these coins. There's a lot more trading going on across multiple exchanges. You really don't want to buy a coin that's just on one shitty exchange that doesn't get traded much. And there's not a lot of volume. Try to buy the good coins, big market caps, Bitcoin, Ethereum, the ones that really go up and down, Cardano, Matic, BNB, Shiv, Doge, those, the ones that, you know, Algorand, Hedera Hashgraph, all the big ones, buy those coins, put those in the bot. Let the bot trade the good coins, not the shit coins, right? So I got hundred dollars per trade set. Like I said, 60 coins being traded. Now the bot could use $10,000, but like I said, I'm only allowing it to have one open position per coin. So 60 coins, the max it could really have open 60 positions. And that's what is open at the moment. We got 60 positions being held right now. And when the market picks up, it's going to sell those positions and it'll continue to make money. The strategy is the CQS basic scalper. That's the one I set up in the last video I made back in December. And then I don't use trailing stop buy. I just use trailing stop loss to sell. So the bot is buying using the strategy, right? I'm not doing anything manual. It does it automatically. It's using a RSI Bollinger Band strategy to make the buys. And then I am selling, I'm taking profit. If the profit ever gets to 5% and this bot has not hit the trailing stop loss, it's going to sell. We're doing market orders. That means it buys and sells instantly. It's not doing limit orders, which are orders for the, because it really wouldn't work good like that. It's not like a grid bot like Bitsgap. Now it does do limit orders because it has to set up grids, right? And the grids are future orders if the price gets to that level. But in this case, it's a market sell, right? Max open time to sell three minutes. You can click on this. It'll tell you a determined number of minutes a sell order remains open before the order gets canceled. Orders may get partially filled. So I'm not selling by strategy either. I'm not letting the strategy sell. Remember I said it's only buying, right? So going back up here, I'm just making sure I'm not leaving anything out. It's KuCoin Exchange. This is paper trading bot, demo bot. Like I said, I always demo the bots before I put real money in it. It's the best thing to do. As far as the stop loss, not doing that. So trailing stop loss, that's what I've been saying. That's what I use to sell. The bot itself is buying using the strategy, right? That's this one right here. So it's buying using the strategy and it can be any number of strategies. There's lots of strategies on Crypto Harper Marketplace. So be sure you pick good ones that got good reviews. I want to keep it simple. RSI Bollinger Band is very simple but effective. So that's what I'm doing. Just scalping, trying to get around that 1% profit per trade. I know I've said that a bunch already. You're probably getting tired of it. So trailing stop loss. Okay. So I got, actually I got it set on 1% to arm, right? Arm trailing stop loss at 1%. I was wrong. Okay. I said 1.25. So I think what I, what happened is I did change it the other day and I just remember that now, <laughs> but so it was 1% is what I got it on now. And it's trailing stop loss percentage 0.15. So I'm trying to make 0.85% profit. So you pretty much, whatever you put here, let's say it's two. If you put half a percent here, you'd subtract it. In this case, it's one minus. So I'm trying to make that 0.85%. Now there might be some slippage in the market with the buys and the sells. 
you might or might not get that exact profit it's usually going to be a little less or a little more but as long as you're making profit that's the main thing and that you're covering the fees of the exchange that's why i like to use kucoin because the fees are only like 0 0.08 percent so if i make 0.85 percent profit you're going to take eight percent off of that i put you in the 0.7 something percent profit range so I had already changed this. So it's 1% trailing stop loss and that's when it arms and then it's going to actually sell once that drops 0.15%. Here's to me trying to make an example out of this. So let's say the buy it buys down here. The price is going to go up 1% and then once it goes down 0.5% on this other graph or this other little indicator tool here it's going to sell right so you see the one percent that's where the price is going to go up so when it goes back down 0.5 percent it would sell right there and take that profit between there and here right so that's how that's what i mean when you subtract those two because the price has to go up first and then when the market goes down a certain percentage the buy is going to sell that's how that works this is just an example on the Bitcoin price chart. I got everything else disabled on here. I don't got anything set up. Just trailing stop loss, simple. I don't set, I don't use auto close. I don't do any shorting. I don't do dollar cost averaging because the bot in a dollar cost average situation, it would just keep buying and buying as the market went down. Now, if it buys into coins that never come back up, you're going to lose a lot of money. So that's why I don't like using dollar cost averaging. So that's really the basic settings uh, that I got set up right there. Like I said, I do got this set up on here to only one open buy order per coin, right? I don't do cooldown period, which means it has to wait so long before it buys another position in the coin. So one position per coin no cooldowns nothing like that max open time to buy three minutes max open positions 80 max percentage open positions per coin it's like 0.14 that's if you put this max one open buy order per coin it's only going to open one buy order per coins that literally what it says so lots of good info on here go look through your trade history had a bunch of trades on here so going back to the dashboard like i said i got 60 open trades some of these were opened a couple months ago so it'll actually hold these positions until they eventually come back up the chilies doge i got some old positions and when i had 25 dollar positions now i've got 100 dollar positions so i hope that helped like I said, if you go up here, go to the marketplace, go to strategies, you'll see there's lots of strategies. I often like to look at the best rated or most sells and downloaded ones. In this case, we're going with, let's see, most sells downloaded, free strategy. We're using the CQS basic scalper, 27,577 people. I've downloaded it. It's more than any other one. That's the one I'm using. It's got decent reviews. There's a couple people maybe didn't set it up right, but overall it's pretty good. Just like these people here, they're talking about their uh, settings and everything. So working really well. That's all I got for tonight. Just want to go over these settings. Also watch my other video I did on Crypto Hopper on just how to do a general setup using the strategy, one of the market strategies. And in the future, I plan on making some of my own strategies on the marketplace so people can also download them. I'll probably start out with some free ones until I get a little better at coding, that kind of thing. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I got a lot of people watch, but don't subscribe. You help me out tremendously by hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps the YouTube algorithm the way it views the channel. So I do appreciate it. Thank you. Talk to you later.